The Better Business Bureau says credit card fraud is on the rise. Four years ago, online purchase scams comprised only 34 percent, but now it's a whopping 65 percent. And there's a significant uptick of consumers reporting these scams. It's actually a 27 percent increase just since the beginning of the year. So it's pretty substantial. You know, as you mentioned, consumers everywhere have changed their shopping habits. Actually, the U.S. Department of Commerce states that about 17, 16, 17 percent of all shopping is going to be done online. Scammers are targeting items that people need most during the pandemic. For example, students need laptops for remote learning at school, so... Scammers will offer a great price on a laptop and even guarantee shipping, likely for a product you'll never see. Chadwick Jackson is the economic crimes prosecutor for Metro Davidson County. He says this scam could be a real nightmare for someone during the COVID-19 pandemic. If you have to go to the grocery, you have to pay a medical bill, you have to pay rent, it could take two to four to six weeks before you get reimbursed. Everyone is hurting enough from COVID. Uh, if you're out of, out of work, and you're relying on government support, and then this happens and there's no way to recoup. Householder says scammers are focusing on social media and much younger victims. We're seeing a big uprise in that younger generation of that 25 to 35 year range um, that are getting targeted really heavily. A great example of that recently is the Netflix scam where you were getting an email, you were getting a text that said, hey, you need to verify your information, your account's getting ready to be closed or canceled, and they're just clicking on that link right away and putting in their credit card number when in fact it's not legitimate. Jackson says with scammers getting more sophisticated, he's glad to be a part of the fight against these crimes. At the end of the day, I'm helping a victim. I'm helping somebody regain their confidence, regain their trust in the system, regain their faith in society and hopefully ease the pain that they've had to experience going through this. Creating consumer caution and targeting your credit with every click. In Nashville, Alex Corradetti, News 2.